The Longing video game from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. The Longing is an indie point-and-click adventure and idle video game released on March 5, 2020 by Studio Seuss. The game follows a creature called a Shade as he waits 400 days to awaken a sleeping king. During this wait, the Shade must find ways to pass the time. The game is notable in that the 400 days progress in real time, regardless of the game being open or not. The Longing received critical acclaim and was praised for its experimental nature. Section 1. Gameplay and Story There is an image of the Shade within its home with the caption, Quote, the decorations and pastimes within the Shade's home cause time to advance faster. The gameplay of Belonging revolves around a real-time countdown of 400 days as the player character, called a Shade, waits to awaken his king. Interaction with the world is slow-paced by design, with the Shade's movement and speed being significantly slow. The gameplay consists mostly of exploring caves, gathering resources to furnish the Shade's home, and other time-wasting activities such as reading and drawing. Many aspects of the game are time-dependent, for instance, roadblocks, which require the player to wait a certain amount of time before progressing. The game is intended to, at least in part, be played idly, enabled by features such as idle reading and a bookmark system, by which the player can direct the Shade to automatically walk to a previously saved location, his home, or randomly wander around. The player's main goals are driven by a to-do list of things to improve the Shade's life. However, no interaction with the game world is required to advance the timer, as it continues regardless of what actions are taken and increments independently of the game being open, although time advances faster in the Shade's home depending on how well furnished it is, as well as while performing certain actions such as drawing. As a result of the timer's constant progression, it is possible to beat the game by simply opening it once, waiting 400 days, then opening it again although this is not the intended way to play. To prevent cheating, the game also has a dungeon system as a consequence for players who attempt to circumvent the time limit by changing their computer's system clock. The game features several endings, and not all require the player to wait out the 400-day timer. Section 2. Development The Longing story was largely inspired by the Kufhauser legend, particularly by a dwarven character within the poem Kufhauser Mountains Barbosa by Frederick Wuchert which was based upon the legend. The dwarf was tasked with checking every 100 years if its king was ready to awaken. Anselm Pita, director of The Longing, found the character interesting and focused in on him and his mental state. The gameplay was inspired by idle games such as Clicker Heroes. Prior to release, a demo of the game was showcased at Adventure X 2020. Section 3. Reception. The Longing was received very positively by critics, aggregating 76% on Metacritic. In particular, it was praised for its experimental nature. PC gamer's Joaquin Kilman called it a fascinating experiment, and Christopher Bird of the Washington Post spoke of how its level of creativity reinvigorates my expectation of what games can be, drawing comparisons to The Witness and The Beginner's Guide, among others. In part due to its release date, Rachel Weber of Games Radar called it the game that best sums up life in the 2020 pandemic. Section 3.1 Awards. The Longing won the 2020 Ducher Compute Real Prix in the category Best Debut. It was nominated for the Nuovo Award in the 2020 Independent Games Festival. It won the Amaze 2019 Long Feature Award, and it received a special mention at the Animated Games Award Germany 2019. References and external links are available in the written version of this article. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.0 Unported License, available at creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by hyphen sa slash 3.0.